Hi everyone, so that's me doing some documentation of my experiment. So today I'm doing MDD essay and I'm on the last step of it. And before doing anything, I always rub alcohol uh, on my glove so that my plate don't get contaminated. So I just took out the plate from incubator and now I'm just observing it under microscope. And I already had uh, two hours of incubation with empty reagent and now I could easily see the purple crystals of uh, uh, pharmacin and that those crystals are insoluble so I have to throw out the solution that's uh, already in the plate and then dissolve those crystals with uh, DMSO, that's a solvent that we usually use to dissolve formas in crystals. So the process is pretty simple. You just have to throw out the solution that you already have in the plate and then uh, dissolve the crystal using the MSO. So I'm just going to remove the lid of the plate and then give the plate a little, not little, a big jerk and then it will take out all the solution that's already present in the uh, plate just like that and if you are not sure you can do it again but make sure to run the water over the solution otherwise it's gonna leave a lot of stains on your um, sink because it have uh, MTT. so now i'm taking my plate to my station and i already have taken out dmso in the reservoir because i need 100 microliter so i'm using 100 microliter pipette and it is very important to use appropriate uh appropriate pipette for the accurate volume measurement so because of the presence of uh, formas in crystal when i add dmso the color of the dmso is turned purple because the crystals are being dissolved into the dmso and they uh, turn the color of dmso into purple uh, so actually the phenomenon behind this is that uh, mtt reagent which is yellow to orange in color that that is being turned into formosin crystals which are in purple color through an enzyme which is present in mitochondria and that enzyme is called as mitochondria reductase so that's the basic phenomena behind this assay and, and this assay is widely used in almost every in vitro uh, research project because this is primarily used for cell viability and now i have to use a micro plate reader so i have to go to the eighth floor so I'm, i just took off my um, lab crocs and now i am going to the eighth floor so that's me and now i have to give authentication for the eighth floor so now you have to remove the lid before you do the absorbance readings because otherwise it will uh, interfere with your readings and after that you just have to manage your protocols and everything and then you just have to wait like 48 seconds more and it's almost done software is processing for us and here we go so now it's time to remove the plate from micro plate reader so that i could turn it off and now i am back at my own lab because i'm done with all my practical work and i already have my readings i just removed my lab coat and i just have to place all the things and equipments that i used back to their place it's very important to document each and every step of an experiment because it will help you track down your mistakes or track down your old protocols and your changes and everything so it's very important for a scientist or researcher to keep record of their every experiment and now it's time to analyze the data so i'm just going to put all those values in excel and then analyze the cell viability so after doing that i will just have my own uh, data about the given scenario